What's going on YouTube? Today we're gonna be doing a mid drop fade. Uh, we're gonna be leaving the C cups on this, and we're gonna do a part also, and a messy top. This is what my client requests, and let's get right into it. So the first thing I do is I start by wetting my client's hair. That way I can do the horseshoe part. Whenever they have a lot of bulk on top, that's, I always end up doing the horseshoe part, especially if they want a, a messy top. And just pull out whatever you can and just cut it off. Don't be afraid. Just go go ahead and just do whatever you think is right. Go ahead. And right here, what we're going to do, we're just going to point cut the top. That way we can um, give it some texture on top. We're only doing about like half, half an inch on the texture. We're not really taking off too much. We're just point cutting it. That way we can just get a nice uh, light, light texture on top. When I, when I finish that, I always come back and I blow dry my client's hair, but I put that Elegance Hair Serum. It can be any type of serum. And just make sure you rub it nice and good on top. That way when you blow dry it, it, um, it protects it from the heat, from damaging the hair. And plus it gives it a nice look also. I do start off by blow drying with the hot hot air and um, this is at first we just I just try to put it I try to blow dry it as as it's supposed to be like laying down give it some volume and right here I'm using a uh, texture powder this is the smooth company texture powder it was sent to me and so far it's pretty dope I like I like the way it leaves the hair what that powder does it just gives it some volume that way you can texture or give it it gives it some more texture and it leaves an, it, i like the way it leaves it a lot of people like it too and it just makes it give it volume so right here what i'm doing is i'm getting my number two guard lever open and we're just gonna we're just cleaning up the bulk because he had some bulk in the bottom just that way i can see my guidelines when i come back and set them in and we're just gonna take this around his head all, all throughout his head it is a drop fade, so you want to keep it a little bit more lower in the bottom. And um, it's not really setting in a guideline. We're just we're just cleaning cleaning up the the whole head just so we can see everything as as we go. And then the number two guard is perfect for this in any situation. It, it allows you to blend in pretty pretty easy into the top bulk to connect the top with this guard. And when you come back with your shears, it'll it'll blend in pretty nicely. So what I do when, to start this fade after all that, um, I come in with my trimmers. These trimmers ain't zero gap, and this is why I like these trimmers a lot. These are the Supreme trimmers. They're a new company on the market, and so far they've sent me a couple trimmers, and they're pretty dope so far. They're pretty they're pretty good. They remind me of like slim lines, uh, basically on steroids. But I usually do this. Uh, to set up my guidelines because they ain't zero gap so it won't leave such a harsh guideline and um when doing this when doing the first guideline it is a drop fade so you want to exaggerate that drop and, and uh just keep it as consistent as possible that way you can have a nice uh, neat fade then i come back with my my shavers you can use any type of shavers of course these are the gammas these are pretty dope honestly out of all those shavers i've used these are probably the best i've liked or they they work really good for me like usually a lot of uh, shavers they leave they get like the dead skin like pretty bad and these these don't really like attract that too much to the blade so they're pretty easy to clean also just make sure you take it all the way to the top of the line just make sure light pressure uh, don't don't put such a heavy hand to it because it will be hard to take out the line when you come back later so right here our first guideline we're going to do the number one guard lever fully closed and we're going to make about an inch guideline all the way consistently all the way uh, to his to the back of his head on this video i didn't really fast forward it for you guys on this fading part because i want you guys to see exactly the way i do it and um that way you guys can really pay attention and, and and check it out break it down if you guys need to next thing you do is you grab your half guard lever fully closed and you're going to copy the same thing you did with your number one guard 
don't be afraid just copy the same thing and um i promise you this is just gonna basically you're just softening everything down this this right here is getting everything ready so when you come back with your no guard lever fully closed to take out that bottom line it'll be literally like butter like so easy as you see i'm just doing i'm copying the same thing i did with my number one guard please do not make it harder on your guys yourself like just do exactly the same thing i can't stress that enough <laughs> So after you do that, we come back with our no guard lever fully closed and you're just going to take out that bottom line. Now we're just going to work on it and I'm not going to fast forward it for you. I'm just going to let you guys see exactly how I do it. That way you guys can can break it, break it down as much as you guys need to. I just keep it closed and I open it about a quarter, but you can open it as much as you need to as you think you need to. And this won't completely take out the bottom line like there might be some stubbles left but just go ahead and once you notice the clipper can't take it out just go ahead and continue the the rest of it So now I got my my baby list zero gap trimmers and we're going to take out those stubbles down. The stubbles that you left with the clipper that the clipper didn't get, this is what's going to take them out. Just make sure you use your corners and flick out. It sh they should come right off. Once we finish that, you're going to come back with your one and a half guard lever fully closed and we're going to make about an inch guideline on top of everything that we just faded out already. So just make it nice, even and consistent. And this is already, we're already going to start blending into the bulk basically. There's something about like the way I, I fade, like it leaves such a smooth blend, but like a, a short blend, a compressed blend, but um. I've always tried to cut like this, like since I started cutting, like I've always thought the, the tight blends looked a lot nicer than like a stretched out blend, but in some cases you can do a stretched out blend. So it's always nice to know both right here. We're going to start fading down with our lever, uh, our number one guard lever fully open it. And we're going to do, uh, we're going to do the same thing we did with our one and a half guard, literally the same thing. You're going to take it all the way to the top of the one and a half guard, and you're just going to start fading down. This is where we start sandwiching the blend basically fading down so right here we're closing it halfway now and we're gonna do the same thing again but just a little bit lower just make sure you glide it throughout the hair just nice and smooth strokes you gotta put a lot of pressure let the clipper do the work And then you're gonna fully close it and you're gonna attack that middle ghost line i know right here you guys can pretty much see it it's not really like a harsh guard guideline it's it's a it's a ghost line just go right on it and flick on it it's not gonna take it out completely especially with this type of hair he has really thick hair so just make sure it's down to the number one guard in the middle and then um, we're gonna come back with our half guard here in a bit So right here, we're going to come back with our half guard now, lever fully closed and make sure you use your corners on this one because now we're just going to hit the little dark spots in the middle. Basically, this is this is what this is what's going to bring all the whole blend together. 
it's gonna give it this uh, buttery effect look so make sure you don't go too high with this one just just literally attack the dark spots with your corners and just flick it out you're just detailing the blend it's you're detailing it but bringing it together As you can see, I'm just using my corners and I'm getting whatever I can with the with those corners and just flicking out those little spots. This don't take much much uh, effort. It, it'll it'll um it'll come out pretty easy as you keep just attacking those dark spots literally. Also, make sure you brush a lot because um. Sometimes when you cut hair from the top, you're going to see little hairs in, in your blends. Like They're going to look like dark spots, and if you don't brush, you're going to attack that, and you're going to start messing up the fade. Make sure you brush just to keep a nice, clean uh, area with your fade. So now we're going to put on my number two guard lever fully open, and then I close it about a quarter. And we're just going to go straight up. We're not really making a guideline with this. This is just going to allow us to blend into the bulk with our shears. As you can see, I'm just going straight up with it. I'm not really making a harsh guideline. Then right here, right after that, we're going to do the same thing, but with our one and a half part. Lever fully open and close it about a quarter. And then you're just gonna go and do do right underneath that this is what's gonna bring the bottom blend to to the bulk and connect it together and sometimes if you if you have to use your number one guard or to detail the blend go ahead and smack on your number one guard and uh, just to, just because of the way i do it doesn't mean that you guys have to do it exactly the same way but i hope i hope it helps you guys in in any in any type of way So now we're going to come back with our shears now, our thinning shears, then our comb, and we're just going to connect everything. Just go straight up with it. Also, you can get any of these products I'm using. Um, I posted them down below in the link. And um, if you guys want this, these shears and these, these combs, you guys can use my discount code at Barbanova. It's uh, Noel10 and you'll get 10% off your, your purchase. But... Everything I'm using in this video is down below, so go ahead and check those out. As you can see, I'm just connecting everything together with these shears. that's basically the way I do my blends um, I showed you guys the, the most important parts of the whole blend now we just do our lineups when when doing when doing the lineup just make sure it's it says um, make sure you don't push back and make sure you, you stretch the skin when using the razor you don't want to irritate your client and also the, I do use the, the white pencil I think this just adds an extra pop for your like if you want to like do social media and all that this right here is what's gonna like put you out there like separate you from your average barber i did do a design on him on this side um to be honest i'm not the best at designs like i don't really do them it's really rare if i do a design but i mean when i do do them i like to like i, I can only do like zigzag work like I can't do all that circle stuff. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not. I I didn't like learn how to do designs. Pretty like I wish I would have learned, but um, that's why I'm gonna just like fast forward it for you guys. If you guys want, I can um. If you guys want, I can make like a video on the way I I achieve like this type of design, like specifically on a design. I can break it down for y'all. But um, my whole my whole uh, goal for like this channel and stuff is for to help you guys break down the hair because I struggled so much through um, through learning or learning everything like when I was cutting hair. I've only been cutting hair for I'm going on four years. As soon as I got out of high school, and um, 
it was it was a struggle for me so that's that's what my goal is for to help you guys break down the hair now that i broke it down i figured everything out i just want to show you guys the way i do it because now it's, it's like really easy for me so and i know the struggle of like wanting to learn so bad so i hope i can help you guys in any way possible so this is basically the final product the final result um let me know if you guys liked it what, what you guys want to see next week i am dropping weekly so comment down below make sure you like subscribe hit that notification bell and dm me on instagram if you guys have any questions at noel blends go ahead and follow me as well other than that i'll see you guys next week peace